Hey YouTube, this is Kerry Scrapping for a Dart. Well, I wanted to show you some of the smaller components that I get in. Um, I get a lot of this kind of stuff, um, mainly from a Collis contact that I have. Um, and I had one user or a subscriber in particular that was asking me about uh, showing what's inside of some of the smaller stuff I get in. So I'm happy to do that. Um, we're going to start, actually let's start in the front. These are those Cisco office phones. I get a lot of these in. Um, the stuff that I get in is broken, damaged. Um, most of the time it doesn't work. So I don't try to sell it outright. Um, some of these Cisco phones I know working do sell pretty good. Um, but for this video, I'm going to show you um, what's inside one. So here's basically your unit like this. You'd think, well, maybe I'll just sell this as an appliance rate if your yard buys it like that. But some things you want to always open at least once to experiment and see what's inside because you'll be surprised and you can make a lot more money. Um, for this one here in particular, there's just the piece here. These I don't open up anymore. I just sell this as is an appliance rate. There's not much in it. Uh, there's just the wiring. This is considered like a phone wire and you get paid higher rates um, at your yard for this type of wiring. Um, at least I do. Just cut off the little gold connector and put that in with your gold connectors and sell this in with your wiring. Inside this phone, I already took the screws out for you. Plastic. Garbage. Um, inside. There's this little piece of plastic here that houses the speaker. Um, so you got your speaker. I sell these as um, an appliance rate as well. Just throw them in a bin and sell them. Um, check out the board inside. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this thing is all gold um, covered. And uh, there's some phone jacks there that have gold pins in them. So you would have never thought that there'd be gold in these, but there is. And the really cool part is underneath um, this board here where the buttons are on the other side. If you pull this off and flip it over, all these contacts are gold. So I just got two nice little boards there. Not much, maybe six ounces, eight ounces, but still, you know, my, my yard buys this stuff by the pound. Um, I think I get a dollar a pound at my yard or my personal buyer um, that I ship to sometimes. Um, he pays two seventy a pound. So anyway, you want to keep this kind of stuff separate. I'm going to move over to this Netlinx integrated controller um, made by AMX. Again, untested, um, broken, damaged. I just, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm pulling these apart. Basically, this is your unit here. Pretty heavy duty, probably you know, 10 pounds. Inside of it, I already pulled the top off. It's a steel that goes in with your steel bin. And inside again, the boards. Pretty heavy duty here, maybe almost 10 ounces, maybe a little bit more. It's hard to see, um, but there is some gold on these. And also, this one's got a flash card that you can just pull out. And there's gold in the contacts there. And of course, your card too will have, on the inside, there'll be like a little bit of gold on that too. So you can sell that to your yard if they buy it. Um, and then there's a little bit of ribbon wire. Same thing, cut off the ribbon wire, sell those. Put the ribbon wire in with your ribbon wire. Uh, my yard, again, buys all my cords separately. Phone wires, ribbon wires, and other cords all sell separately at different rates. So check with your yard and see. Um, you can see on the other side of this, those are all gold pins all along that thing. So this can definitely go in with my motherboards. And the last thing I wanted to show you is these Dell, I think they're a type of a port. I get tons of these in and they're really not worth much. Um, basically, you can see on the back there's some gold pin connectors and a phone jack. Um, basically that's that. Again, I put the top off. This piece is plastic. There's a little bit of metal on the other side that you can peel off. Inside, this is a piece of stainless that was bolted right there. Um, to clean it up, you got to pull out a couple little uh, rivets or whatever they're called. Um, but you can put that in with your stainless steel. Inside again, gold boards. Nice big gold board there. Lots of weight. Inside this one, there's some cast aluminum. So you want to separate that and put that in with your cast aluminum. And basically the rest of this is this plastic. There's another little board in there that has some gold on it. And then there's some little pieces of wiring and other little pieces that you can pull off that are metal. Um, so these three, three, three things that I just showed you now are definitely well worth pulling apart to make a little extra money. Um, printers, um, if they're larger ones, I'll find, like, I'll try to find the boards on them because some printers have like gold memory in them. So stuff like that, I'll just pull out the boards, but the rest I sell is an appliance right now. Um, scanners, things that are mainly plastic and glass, I don't even mess with. Um, again, if your yard buys it as an appliance rate, sell it as an appliance rate, don't mess with it. 
because your yard's actually paying you for the, the junk, the glass, and the plastic as a metal rate. So um, you have to experiment. Like I said, go through everything you get in, pull apart one, do an experiment if it's worth your time. Um, these here I wasn't even sure about, but when I open them up, there's a lot of gold in there. So basically anything that's a computer component will have gold pins in it of some kind. Um, so basically that's about it. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care.